Hello and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to learn how to simplify expressions in order to solve equations. So it's kind of a two-part process. You know, first we've talked about expressions. What are expressions in algebra? And now we're going to learn how to simplify those guys, how to simplify expressions. And the reason that we're doing that ultimately is because we're going to want to solve more complicated equations. So you already know the basic idea of how to solve an equation. You want to isolate that variable. You want to get the variable x or y or w or whatever it is. You want to get it by itself. And we've solved quite a few equations where you've kind of add things to both sides or subtract things or whatever to get the variable by itself. But now, when we get to these equations in this section toward the end of it, the uh, expressions will be a little bit more complicated. We'll have to do a few more steps. So in order to be able to solve more complicated equations, you need to you get your skills really, really good in the area of how to simplify expressions. And this is very similar to, in, in, in principle anyway, to what you do with fractions, you know? We all learn what a fraction is. We learn that two-fourths is a fraction, for instance. Two out of four pieces of pizza, right? And we learn that we can simplify that fraction. And it's the same thing as one-half. Two-fourths of a pizza is the same as one-half of a pizza. We learn how to simplify those fractions. And we learn that two-fourths is exactly the same thing as one-half. There's really no difference in how much pizza it is. Those things just look different when you write them down. One is more simplified than the other. The one-half represents the simplified fraction, right? And we spent a lot of time with fractions uh, learning how to do that. It's the same thing here. You'll have an expression. It'll have x's and, you know, exponents and things running around. And when you simplify it, you're basically kind of bringing it to a simpler form. You're, you're kind of expanding it or you're simplifying it in a way that lets you isolate that variable, which is what you want to do anytime you're trying to solve an equation. So before we solve any equations, let's start with baby steps and learn how to simplify expressions. So what if we had something that looked like this? What if you had 3x plus 17x? And I said, hey, we want to simplify this. How do we simplify this expression? I mean, obviously, you have 3 times some unknown thing called x. We don't know what x actually represents. It could be, you know, any number in the world. Uh, plus 17 times x. And again, x is some unknown number. But whatever number x actually is, it's the same thing here as it is here. Because anytime you see x in an equation, everywhere you see it, you don't know what x is, but everywhere you see it, it's the same number. So you know how we solve equations, we find that x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 2, or something. Everywhere in the expression that you see the variable, it's going to represent the same value, you know, after you solve the equation. Of course, there's no actual equation here, there's no equal sign. But the idea here is that whenever you multiply 3 times x, and here you take 17 times x, in both cases, even though I don't know what x is, x is representing the same thing. So, an, an analogy to this would be, if I had three pencils over here, right, and then my other ha hand, I had 17 pencils over here, and I'm trying to add three pencils plus 17 pencils, how many pencils do I have? I have 20 pencils, right, because three plus 17. And we know that because we have pencils here and we have pencils here, it's representing the same thing. So we can add them together and we get a, it makes sense to add them together. So the same thing holds true here. You can kind of think of this as like three, you know, pencil. Even though this is going to represent the number, it's a, it's a value of something. This is 17 times the same thing, basically. So you can sort of think of this as three pencils and 17 pencils to help you realize 